What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we got something pretty awesome. We have the Creality Falcon Pro 10 watt diode laser that they sent me to try it out. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna unbox this, put it together and see how it is. Not only did they send me the Falcon, they also sent me a honeycomb board for lasering. If you don't know what a honeycomb board is, basically something that keeps your projects up and raised up so that the laser can shoot all the way through for cutting through. It's pretty awesome. I don't have a 400 by 400. I do have a 400 by 800, but I don't have this. So I'm really excited, really thankful that they sent me this as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open, check it out, see what's up on the inside and get it put together. I'm also going to time it with my phone to see how long, let's see. I'm ready to go right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and time it to see how long this thing, from unboxing it to putting it together, how long it takes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and readjust the camera and get this thing unboxed and put together. Here we go. Now that we got this open, let's check it out, see what it comes with, and then go from there. This is your focusing plate. Looks like we have our Creality instructions, just like the Neo Ender. Check it out. I got another set of stickers, which really cute stickers. Power cords. This is kind of interesting. This looks like it is an air assist tube, which I'm not sure if this thing has air assist with it or built in air assist. I'm kind of curious about that. Some corner brackets, star of the show. So we got our laser. Tools. This is a key so that no kids or anything like that can come and uh, unlock it and use your laser and uh, really hurt themselves. So that's kind of cool. This is the x-axis gantry. I don't know if you noticed it actually had three corners. Well, here's the fourth one. Power cable. Oh my gosh, no way. Check this out. It actually comes with an air assist pump already as well with some rubber feet and these rubber feet help it uh, stop some vibrations. Built in air assist. How awesome. Let's do this. This is going to be super satisfying. Comes with your safety goggles. One, two, three, and four. This is the last piece of the puzzle. All right guys, so we got all of our parts laid out here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this all organized, review the instructions a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put together. Let's do it right now.
guys, now that we went ahead and we got this thing put together, it was super, super easy. The one thing that I forgot to do was I forgot to hit my timer. My phone was over there, so I didn't put it on timer, but I think it honestly took me probably about 15 to 20 minutes to put this thing together. It was really, really easy to do. So what we're gonna do right now is I got the computer over here. All right, so now that we got the laptop hooked up and I got my USB cord into my laptop, what I wanna do is see how easy it is to go into Lightburn and it recognize this Creality Falcon Pro. I have a three millimeter piece of basswood here. What I'm gonna do is set my depth right now to that height right there. So let's go ahead and just drop this down like that. All right, we should be good. That is a thickness for the three millimeter basswood. We use that top one right there, the, top, the highest uh, level. So let's go ahead and now we're focused in. Let's go ahead over to Lightburn and see if we can get this thing to recognize. All right guys, so what I wanna do is come down here to Lightburn. Let's go ahead and open it up and see if we can install a new laser and see if it, re oh. right off the bat, this thing, this is crazy. So right off the bat, it homed the machine all the way to the front left. You can see it, I did not record that, uh, but it automatically homed the machine. It's really weird that it picked it up as the Fox Alien. Um, what I'm gonna do is come over here to move and I'm gonna see if I can move this. And it does. It automatically, in light burn, pick this up and it is good to go. I think we can actually laser something. <laughs> this is crazy. It literally, I wish I could have shown that. I did not expect, I thought I was gonna have to install and recognize, uh, but it is really already good to go. And it homed instantly. So I'm gonna press home and it homes it automatically. Hold on, I'm actually gonna record this. All right guys, so I got Lightburn and as you can see, it's actually running right now. And the crazy thing is, if I hit this home button right here, let's go and hit home, watch what happens to the laser. It automatically picks it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slowly but manually do this and just show you what happens when I hit the home button. How awesome is that? And I got it set right here to job origin and we are good to go. Let's, um, let's go ahead and actually hit fire. Check that out. Fire works on the laser. We're at a half a percent. Hope I'm not burning. Nope, we got the plate underneath there. We are good to go, guys. This thing is ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just bring something in and see what happens. Let's go ahead and import an image right now. Let's go ahead and do a power scale test. Hit open. Okay, and select all. And we're gonna minimize this to something pretty small. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and do this power scale on this and see what happens with the laser and go from there. All right guys, so here is the first test that we did. And it's funny, right up here actually, I forgot to turn the air assist on with the nozzle that's right here, the little adjuster and the air, the air pump uh, is controlled by that, uh, by that little knob right there. And you can see right there, it worked out pretty good. Okay, so now the test, what everybody wants to see, let's go ahead and do a cut test. Alright guys, so here is the cut test for the Falcon Pro and you can see right here that uh, three passes at a 20 millimeters a second speed was the highlight and that's about kind of what I expected on that but uh, you could still see three millimeter, it cut three passes fairly quickly, honestly, not too bad. So that's it right there. 
So we're gonna do one more test. We're gonna go ahead and do a gradient. All right guys, there is the gradient fill. You can actually see right here that it really did a good job on um, those lines and doing that gradient. So it goes all the way from 5% all the way up to 100% power. And that thing turned out really, really good. So you can kind of get an idea of what is gonna be your best bet. Somewhere around 50, 45 to 50, somewhere around in this area right here would probably be the best power for uh, engraving and just doing some like shading with some artwork. All right guys, it's getting kind of cold in the workshop, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more test. I have a six millimeter piece of basswood and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut three circles. We're gonna try to cut three circles. Uh, we're gonna set this at the lowest setting on the focus scale. I think it's that bottom one. If you could see it somewhere right there, it says if you're doing six millimeter uh, or thicker, we're gonna set it to that and we're gonna try to cut a circle out of this using 100% power. Uh, I'm gonna go pretty slow and we're gonna do maybe three to six passes and see what happens. Let's give it a shot and see if we can actually cut right through this uh, piece of wood and see what happens. All right guys, check that out. So this was actually overkill. These two were overkill right here. I did three passes, 10 millimeters a minute, and then at 100% power, this was six, this was nine passes. So what we're gonna do is let's do one more and I wanna do uh, a three, a four, and a five pass. So let's try it one more time. Three passes, four passes, five passes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just bumped my piece right there, so that's not gonna work. All right, there it is, five passes. Um, we're gonna do one more at four passes because I bumped it and it didn't even do anything. So let's go ahead and do four passes one more time. So we know five passes, so it's either four or three, or four or five um, to do all the way through. Let's try one more piece. And it basically cut in four passes. Check that out. All right, guys, that is it. That is video of the day. This is the Creality Falcon Pro 10 watt laser kit. It is absolutely amazing. I love the fact that it comes with limit stops so you can home this machine and it recognizes where it is at all times. It also comes with an air assist, which is really awesome. I love the fact that they sent me this honeycomb that is really great for cutting through. You can see that it actually is, allows the laser to go all the way through your project without doing any burning on the back of the project. This thing cuts amazingly. You saw that it actually cut. Where's it at? six millimeter wood with no problem in just four passes at 10 millimeters a second at 100% power very easily. Lightburn recognized it instantly. It was just a plug-in and boom, Lightburn was good to go. Now you do have to pay for Lightburn if you're interested in Lightburn as a program that is separate. It does not come with this package. That is a separate program that you use. This thing is really awesome. I love the fact that it has this key. So now I can turn it off, I can have the key, nobody can use this machine, no kids can get a hold of it or anything like that. Not that I have young kids, but if you do, having a key is a really awesome option. And on top of that, it has the limit stop. So if somebody doesn't know and you push this down, 
uh, it's not going to work either. So this thing is absolutely really amazing. I will put a link in the description down below if you're interested in this machine. And next week, we're actually going to do a really cool project that I have planned for using the Creality Falcon. Stay tuned for that. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and give this video a like and a thumbs up. Put a comment down below. I reply back to all of my comments. And until that next video, make sure you all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.